I'm gonna go ahead and take. Um, oh, you're not allowed. Bye bye. Sorry, you're not allowed to come in, and we're leaving. <laughs> you goof. I'm gonna miss you too. And we're back. Welcome home, everyone. Look at all of this beautiful greenery. Welcome back to my backyard. <laughs> oh, is that so? Oh, listen to the chirping I'm getting. You guys are getting a sassy welcome back from our Michigan fox squirrels, too. <laughs> You shouldn't complain, buddy. I'm leaving you all sorts of bird seed again. Though so they could care less about the bird seed I'm leaving out because there's all these acorns everywhere. Oh, it's been so long since I saw acorns. I can't believe that that's one of the things that I am most excited about, about being home. Looking on the ground and going, acorns! Oh, they're so pretty. Birdos! Guys, I miss you so much. Hi, everybody. How have you been doing? Yeah? <laughs> Don't pick on your sister, Ossie Jr. Oh, I've missed you guys. Next time, I'm definitely going to be getting a little birdie camera so that I can keep an eye on everybody, huh? What do you guys think about that? Maybe we'll get a birdie camera sooner than later, and then you guys could have your very own stream camera while we play games in the future, huh? You guys want to be a direct part of the adventures? <laughs> what do you think, Ossia Jr.? Oh yeah? Yeah, I knew you'd like that idea, Chickenberry. I have missed this place so much. It's like walking back into a true sanctuary filled with your guys' love and inspiration and creativity and all the stories we've told here. My beautiful plants, my wall of plants, my birds, my geckos, my little office space where I can tell so many more adventures with all of you. The beautiful plants. This is my sanctuary, guys, and I'm so happy to share it with all of you. I'm so happy to be home. Also, look at this. Lily Pad is guarding a gigantic pile of snail mail. And I think there's even more packages I have to go pick up from the P.O. box. So we're going to be digging through some of these things in the near future and seeing what kind of awesome summer adventures and artwork and letters you guys have been sending our way. <sighs> Home. We're home again. We're home again with my peach tea and my birds and my plants and surrounded by greenery and acorns and beautiful Michigan summer weather which is so much cooler than anything we ever experienced in Taiwan. And I feel so happy and at peace that it is almost surreal. I feel like there's just joy buzzing under my skin to be back home. And I had an amazing time in Taiwan. Don't get me wrong, that adventure was fantastic. And sometimes now that we're back, I kind of look around and I go, did we really go to Taiwan? But thankfully I have things like my jade cabbage bracelet and other bits and the like bits and bobs of swag that I will be showing you guys to prove that yes, we did go to Taiwan. It's just so surreal to think that we traveled to the other side of the world this summer and that big adventure we had been talking about for like a year and a half before we left is done. And Chips did fantastic in his classes. He learned a lot. He's very, very proficient at his trainees now. He had a wonderful time. We learned so much about each other, which was totally unexpected while we were there. We learned so much about just what it was like to live together in another country where only one of us could speak the language. And it was such an adventure and I am not done telling you guys about that adventure either there is so much vlog footage that now that we're back to our fast internet thank goodness 
<laughs> I will finally be able to really start putting together and presenting to you guys on the vlog channel. It will still be a little bit before I start tackling all of that old footage, uh, including some of the other trips I need to show you guys that we've done. This has been a very busy year at the beginning of the year, but just keep an eye over on the vlog channel. A lot of you guys are often surprised to have a vlog channel, but I do. That's what the series Greenhouse and the Friends section on the main channel page links to. You can also find links to it in the video description. So if you're curious about more of the details of our adventures in Taiwan, especially as more vlogs will be rolling out over the next few weeks of those adventures and also of just daily life here at home, then definitely check that out. But you guys, we're back. We're back. We're home. We're back. And this is... I, I truly think traveling and living away from your home for a long time like that. That was the longest I've ever lived away from home. Like had a home and lived away from it. I've traveled and then ended up, oh, I guess this is my new home and never gone back to my old homes before. But I've never lived away from home and then come back before after being gone for almost three months. And I have to say, it gives you an entirely different appreci like appreciation of what you've got and what it means to have a home and what it means to have a space that really fills you up for everything that you truly need and makes it possible for you to create something fantastic. And that's what I'm feeling today. I wanted to let you guys know I'm back. We're starting to adjust to the jet lag. It's been a little interesting shifting. So now we actually traveled back in time 12 hours and I'm getting used to the jet lag easing up. So what is our about almost noon here is midnight for us just three days ago. So trying to adjust to that is taking a little bit of uh, wiggling, but it's starting to definitely ease up. I've been going on morning jogs. You guys can see really fun pictures of the neighborhood cats, of the plants, of the forest on my Instagram and on Twitter. If you guys are interested, you can follow along because I have a goal of trying to go out on morning jogs every single day now. And you can find out more about why on the vlog channel in the future. There's a hint here. I had a lot of dumplings in Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm posting pictures of flowers and plants and beautiful forest and the neighborhood cats which are um, pretty abundant in the early morning here. I met a new cat today named Casey. Maybe I can show you guys a little clip of her because that was kind of fun to meet her for the first time. But that's going on and being out in the sun early in the morning and going on a little jog in the forest is really helping to kind of shake off that transition of time and give me my energy back because the first few days back here have been passing out <laughs> randomly, just falling asleep all of a sudden and that's what jet lag is. Thankfully this time around we don't seem to be suffering the feeling of being so sick all the time, very nauseous and dizzy. Jet lag, I really kind of scoffed at it and thought it just meant that you woke up at funky times before we went and now I have a lot more sympathy. I understand it can really make you feel like you have the flu for like a solid week, a really bad terrible flu mixed with some sort of terrible insomnia so I have so much more sympathy for those of you who have experienced jet lag now I apologize that I thought it just meant like your time shifted because that's not how easy it is at all but there's that kind of ramble about how we're, we're adjusting to being back here and back home I have so many deep and cool and important things to share with you guys that I will save for rambles over on the vlog channel coming up pretty soon about what it was like to be in what is actually a meditation retreat in Taiwan and what I learned about myself, what I learned about my relationship with chips, and what I learned about Siri the YouTuber. And I'll talk about those over on the vlog channel in the future. So if you're interested in those kinds of rambles, you can head over there too. So I'm really kind of just pushing you guys to the vlog channel today, but just because there's been a lot going on in my life lately and it's been an adventure and I'm always so honored and happy to share it with you guys. But for those of you who are here for a different kind of adventure of the more pixelated kind, don't worry now that the jet lag is starting to ease up, I'm really feeling that creativity come back, I'm feeling my energy come back. You just can't even think straight when you first come back and like had to clean the house and have to adjust to taking care of the birds again and trying to stay awake for longer than 20 minutes at a time 
time. Now that that's finishing up, I'm looking at our pixelated adventures and I am really excited with wrapping up Summer of Space soon. The eclipse is on this coming Monday, I believe. So we're gonna try to gear up and kind of rapid fire, finish up a few series over the next couple weeks. Uh, I planned on like cleanly cutting and finishing most of the series with the eclipse, but because the last couple weeks have been so chaotic, I'm gonna keep a few things running for a little while. The things that we have really definitely enjoyed and I want to see more of. So we're gonna have the, hopefully I'll have the ability with all of these trees, it might be a little tricky to get video of the eclipse to celebrate the official ending of our first seasonal event, which didn't go as smoothly as I hoped, but I learned a ton from, a ton, a ton, a ton, and we can talk about that later. But uh, our first seasonal event is wrapping up and Summer of Space will be ending on the Monday when we have the eclipse and we'll still play a few of the most enjoyable and most exciting adventures that we have delved into over the summer in the coming weeks but we're going to start trickling things down and gearing up for the next huge seasonal event and this one i'm going to be better prepared for i'm going to have more energy for and i'm going to be at my home base for here's a little life tip for any of you who are planning huge artistic and creative endeavors maybe don't double dose on it with both Summer of the Wolves and Summer in Space while you're traveling to a foreign country and living on half the internet connection for several months. Um, I kind of overdid it this summer to say the least. Again, things I'll talk about over on the vlog channel because I learned a lot and maybe if you are another creator or another YouTuber, some of the lessons that I learned and how to really optimize and how to really figure out what the heck to do when your creative plans completely go to smithereens will help some of you so that's something to look out for too or ask me about uh, you guys are always welcome to ask me uh, hopefully kindly please for different series on my twitter that you can find me on twitter all day long uh, you don't have to have a twitter to be able to see my twitter so for all of you younger viewers who are not allowed twitter don't worry you can actually click on my twitter link in the video description and you can see my twitter and all of these fun behind the scenes pictures of neighborhood cats or a lot of behind behind the scenes screenshots from our pixel adventures there. But it's been an amazing summer and I can't believe we actually went to Taiwan and we have come back. And I'm gonna spend just a couple more days kind of resting. I am gonna start gearing up to adjusting to recording again. And it's like a dream to be able to sit down at my wonderful chair, at my wonderful desk with my wonderful gigantic screen that's literally this big. <laughs> and be able to actually create these adventures for all of you once more. So I know things have been kind of toned down to almost just niche and cattails and slime rancher. For those of you guys who don't know, I actually did pre-record a whole bunch of things like Spore, I had Subnautica, I recorded a ton of things behind the scenes to like pre-record it and get it ready for you guys. And they had, there had been a Windows update. <laughs> and it desynced my mic. So I recorded probably almost a week and a half's worth of content of our other summer in space things for you guys that just was, my voice wasn't in any of it. So all of the funny jokes that I told you guys in Spore and all of the discoveries we made just disappeared. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why there hasn't been anything else and I'm sorry for that. Traveling, you have to just take care of yourself when you are doing a huge big travels like this. So now that we're home and I'm adjusting, I'm hoping to get back into the flow of all of the other things too. So that's kind of what's going on right now. Just keep an eye out. Uh, like I said, thought I was gonna clean cut summer in space when the eclipse happened, but I'm feeling like a few things like Spore especially, maybe Subnautica, uh, definitely galactic spots are things that I wanna keep going for quite a bit longer. And what happened to Wolf Quest? Well, that's an interesting story, you guys, because Wolf Quest is actually planning on updating a free anniversary update and I definitely want to talk about more of that and I'll probably save it for an actual wolf quest episode so it can reach a broader audience than our update vlogs do but I'm kind of 
just dabbling. We'll probably jump back in with Moose and all of your guys' amazing fanfics. That was such a delight to be able to collect, by the way. And we'll be jumping back into Wolf Quest with Moose and maybe another litter with Dawn. And I kind of want to save Dawn's third and final litter, maybe, for the next update. The anniversary update is actually going to allow you to play Wolf Quest in an entirely new way. And I'll talk more about all of the details that are trickling out when we do another Wolf Quest update episode hopefully this week if not tomorrow probably not tomorrow I'm kind of already falling asleep again because it's my body's midnight even though it's noon here <laughs> But Wolf Quest, I kind of kept pulling back because they kept hinting at the update coming. And finally, I know it's going to be on the anniversary. So it wasn't right around the corner like the next week like I was kind of hoping. But that's totally fine because this is going to be a great update. But that's why Wolf Quest kind of vanished. And Sims 3, our Warrior Cat series in Sims 3. Um, if you guys saw my Twitter today, then you may have seen a hint at some really big things that will be coming up. Probably not for another two or three big plots though because I have to wait for certain cats to get old enough for these dramatic twists. But there's going to be some fun, fun things coming up in Sims 3 Warrior Cats. I'm working with some really amazing people from our Discord, our Patreon Discord, who are amazing artists in their own right, fantastically amazing artists, very creative, and it's just amazing to talk to the, the patrons in our Discord because they're really helping provide a layer of support and enthusiasm for our Sims 3 Warrior Cat series that I have never had before. And so just trust me when I say that there's some things coming up with it. I have a schedule for when I want to introduce it to you guys. It won't be showing up anytime in the next couple weeks, just to warn you. Summer in space. I have to adjust to being home. And there's kind of some big art projects we're going to dabble in with our Sims 3 Warrior Cat series that we have to see how much time it might take to work with. So there's some big things coming, but I do want to make it a regular thing. And I just wanted to reassure you guys that now there's actually some big movement happening. But I won't forget that rather than try to perfect it. It's just great to have the story out there. So yeah, there's a lot going on and I don't want to overload myself too much while I adjust to being back in the United States and wait for that mysterious reverse culture shock to possibly hit. But we definitely are going to start having the ball moving again. I want to start having uh, streams in the future too. I'm so excited. Like I mentioned when I was showing you guys how the Gouldian finches are doing. Don't worry about Ossiai by the way. He's missing a lot of feathers but he has uh, mites and I already gave him the medicine and he's responding very quickly so that's great. But uh, yeah I'm planning on doing streams in the future now that we're home and I have good internet and hopefully I'll be able to even get a little birdie cam. So if you guys think it'd be fun to have a bird cam and I could try to set it up so I save their favorite treats until it's actually time to stream because otherwise they'll just gorge themselves like the eager little birds they are but if you think that'd be fun please let me know we have some niche challenges I mean gosh listen to all these things I'm listing off they're not all gonna happen at once but I just wanted to reassure you guys that I know it's been super quiet the last week but it's been a huge adventure and if you want to see some of that huge adventure the vlog channel will show you things that Siri has been up to in her real life that's me <laughs> and if you're waiting for a pixelated adventures I just wanted to reassure you as my energy is coming back and I'm getting used to being in the United States and back at my wonderful green haven of a home then we will be having those adventures roll out too also one other thing I wanted to thank all of you who sent in snail mail because it really did something amazing to my heart to come home and see this pile of snail mail waiting and just know what that meant like know that there's special letters and and art and and insights into your guys adventures and things that you really loved waiting for me so thank you to everyone who has sent in snail mail and I wanted to show you guys something special that was also waiting for me when I got here we have are you guys ready for this because it's really exciting postcards <laughs> we have postcards so one of the perks for my patrons is that we have the flying squirrel tier and flying squirrels and above get a postcard every month and I am going to start printing these custom postcards this month is from mink 
415. She is an amazing artist. You can find her on YouTube. I'll try to link her down below. She's also known as Tasman. And let's see if I can get it to focus right down here is a special short Google URL that I made for her YouTube channel. So you can check that out. Mink, you may recognize some of her work from some of our uh, niche, especially fan art that has shown up in the beginning of the video. But we now have these official postcards that I will be sending out uh, while they last from this batch that I had printed to people who send in snail mail as a thank you and to our patrons especially. So. My goal is to really be able to highlight fan artists in our community who have really nice quality of work that they've, they've clearly put a lot of their skill into like this. And I really want to be able to say thank you by being able to share their art in a totally new way. So for those of you who are comfortable, you can contact me and let me know if you're interested in letting me use your fan art that you've given me in the past or that you have created for making little postcards for. I'll never sell these or anything, so I'm not trying to make any money off of them but it's just a really great way where I can try to send these out and when they're going through the mail then hopefully people will see down here the credit to the artist and they might get curious and go hmm I wonder who that is so that'll be just really fun it's a way I'm trying to kind of support and highlight the artist in our community and if I can I'll try to build a budget to commission people but right now I'm I'm not sure what my my run on the postcards is gonna be so if I can I want to commission people in the future but that's that's it can get pricey, trust me. <laughs> so if you're, you're interested, then contact me, but I don't want to solicit free art. I just want to know if it's something like, oh, I had this fan art and I'm okay with Siri turning it into a postcard. Then you can let me know and I always try to send some of the postcards to the actual artist who made them. And again, I'll never sell these, so I'm not trying to make any income off of them. I just want to use it as another way to kind of show off the amazing creativity that our community has has brought forth kind of like the fruits of the creativity in our community and another way where I can hopefully support the artists in our community too. So this is Townsend's art and I'm totally in love with it and it's our very first postcard in our little postcard series we're going to be sending out to the patrons and uh, as long as the rest of the cards that I order for when I order the patrons postcards last uh, two people who send in snail mail so it's a new thing it's kind of like little collectible random postcards so i'm really hoping that'll work out and i'm hoping i can make it so that it's totally fair for the fan artist um and we'll figure it out if if it can only be commission based then we might have to resort to all of my audubon postcards that i get sent for having donated to audubon in between different months while i save up but i want to make sure it's fair and fun and just a way to support the fan artists in our community too so i'm very excited i can't believe that that was really exciting to come home to and I have special endangered species stamps that I'm going to use to send these out so that's going to be really exciting and that's just one little snippet of all of the big things and plans and all of the adventures we have coming up so summer of space is coming to an end I still am super working on trying to figure out how we're going to end different series, but don't despair. I enjoyed everything I played this summer, and I definitely plan on playing it again in the future. The seasonal idea of being able to play some of these games for a season is great. It would be far, far better if I actually was able to wrap up a series by playing it in its scheduled time the whole season and not having had those gigantic blocks where there was just like nothing during the summer. But again, I learned a lot. Don't pile those kinds of huge creative projects on yourself when you're traveling to live in a foreign country. So anyway, there's a lot of vlogs coming up. I actually have a fun unboxing gift from my beloved Chips who gave me a subscription to Nako Box. So I'm very excited to open up my Nako Box. It's uh, these very beautiful ceramics and other artisan pieces from Japan. And I'm, this month's is forest bathing. So I'm going to be doing unboxings on the vlog channel. I'm going to be doing some recipes coming up, some walks. It's gonna be really nice. And I'm going to try to go through all of the adventures we went on in Taiwan and you guys may have seen at the beginning of the video our brief touchdown in Japan which was so beautiful I was really stunned at the color contrast when we flew into Tokyo I had no idea that Japan had so many trees right around the Tokyo airport either that was very delightful 
but a lot of that and then don't worry a lot of our pixel adventures too so everything is settling and gearing up and if you guys have questions or if you guys have series you're really looking out for or if you guys maybe would like to hear more about what our next seasonal event is or what you thought about our first attempt as stuttering as i know it was and there goes some black squirrels in my backyard there's black squirrels chasing each other around a tree in my backyard my my backyard oh my goodness yeah i'm gonna have so much fun sharing nature and just everything here with you guys which is gonna work very well for our next seasonal event so if you would like more tips hints on that more uh hints about what are is coming up or maybe you guys have requests of things that you would love to see again let me know but welcome home everyone and i'm really happy to be back and i'm really happy to feel the energy coming back and getting ready to create more for you so i can't wait to share the adventures with all of you guys and remember stay curious <laughs>